This problem is called sequential digits and here we have to find numbers whose digits are in sequence. For example, if you see the number 1, 2, 3, 4, you see that first digit is 1, it can be anything. Next digit has to be 1 more than this. Next has to be 1 more than the previous and so on. So this is a 4 digit number and the digits are sequential. Similarly, if we have let's say 3, 4, 5, it's also sequential. So uh, here you would be given two ranges, upper and lower bound. So you, we have a smaller number low and a larger number high and both are inclusive. We have to print all the numbers whose digits are sequential in this range, including low and high if they are sequential. And uh, there is a limit also that uh, low and high both will be from 10 square that is 100 to 10 raised to the power 9. So let's see how we can solve it. Let's first look at an example. Let's say low is 1000, high is 12000. Then the smallest uh, number with sequential digit will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Why? Because uh, we can have these digits only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Single dig digits are these only. And 0 cannot appear, 0 in the beginning is excluded, you, you don't have any zeros in the beginning and later also you cannot have 0 since 0 is the smallest. So we have just these 9 digits and we have to pick in this order only. But window size will change depending on what is the lower limit. So lower limit is 1000. So smallest possible for any digit, 1000 is of 4 digits. So we will ignore 1, all the 1 digits, all the 2 digits like 1, 2 is has sequential digits, similarly 2, 3 has sequential digits, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7. These are two digit sequential numbers. But we are not worried about that 1 and 2 digits since the lower limit is 1000 which is of four, 4 digits. So minimum possible would be pick the first 4 digits. This is the smallest. Then we will check whether it is larger than this or not. That is effectively it's lying in this range or not, including both. Let's say this limit was 2000 instead of 1000. 2000 is also of 4 digits, so we would have first picked this one, but 1, 2, 3, 4 is less than this, so out of range. So we would have picked this one, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 3, 4, 5, 6, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are for four digits. So now let's get back to our original problem that is 1000. So what we will do, we will keep shifting the window. Four digits is minimum. So let's have NL equal to four, a number of digits in lower, lower bound, number of digits in high is three to five. So we are only concerned about four and five digits. So first pick all the four digits, one, two, three, four. Let's write it here. 1, 2, 3, 4. We are picking from this window. We check it's in this range or not. It is there. If it is there, all the 4 digit number will be there since high end is 5 digit. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, shift this here. 2, 3, 4, 5. It's also in the range. Then uh, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's in the range. Then we start from here. 4, 5, 6, 7. Four, five, six, seven. So you see each digit is increasing by one. One, two, three, four. Next, it will start with five, then six, seven, eight. You just need to worry about the starting point. Rest will follow, and you know the number of digits. Then six, seven, eight, nine. Now you cannot write any four-digit number, since next you will have seven, eight, nine, and it will become ten. But this this is two digits. So four digit numbers are done and these are all in this bound. Next focus on five digit numbers. So first five digit number smallest will be this one. We compare if this is in this range or not. This is 12,345. Here it's 12,000 so it's not. So we stop since this is the smallest possible value and it's out of bound. So all the other five digit numbers will be also more. So we stop and return and now let's match it 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 6 all match with this answer let's say this was 13000 instead of 14000 
then the first one we would have picked this one two three four five and it's in this range so we would have added it then we would have moved here two three four five six two three four five six it's more than this thirteen thousand so we would have stopped so you got the idea so what is the idea here take this string all the numbers will be sub sub some sub string of this bigger string so we may need to uh, do multiple conversions from number to string and a string to number but this is very simple it's very clear uh, what we are doing all the results will be sub string of this so what we will do we will have this string then uh, we will find the lower and number of digits in low and high and we will start from smallest substring of that many digits and then keep shifting the window next we will check for nl plus 1 so we look for all the nl digits then nl plus 1 nl plus 2 all the way up to nh in this case there is a difference of just one so we stopped quickly and then we will compare whether they are in the range or not so we pick the substring then convert that to integer then compare against this and this very simple and we have to return a list in sorted order this is also important return in sorted order but in this logic we are already uh, starting with the smallest number of digits and also starting from left to right you can get the same result by doing from right to left but that will not be sorted so this keeps track of sorting also so what is the time complexity here we have this string of length 9 then at max we can shift a few times uh, that will be constant only so nl low is low and high are from in this range 100 to 10 to the power 9 so number of digits will be here 3 number of digits here will be 10 so this is constant in fact if you look in that way if you consider the range so it's o of 1 and space so also we are just using the list that we want to return and a variable for this string number of characters but this is constant so this will be this return value only but if you don't count this space because this you have to return anyway space is also o of 1 so let's implement this logic in c++ java and python so these are the this is the number all the digits and we have to pick substrings from this then we have vector int result this we will return nl equal to let's convert it to string then length similarly nh uh, i is the number of digits the outer window the window size and then we will have inner loop for substring it will be shifting so minimum number of digits will be nl no point in starting from zero although you can start from zero also but all of them will be ignored anyway so we start from nl i less than equal to nh plus plus i this is the starting position this is the window size or the number of digits this is the starting point so we start from first digit 1 2 3 4 and go up till uh, 10 minus i because if uh, the length is i then let's say the length is 3 we are looking for three digit numbers so we will start from here we will pick this 1 2 3 then shift it 2 3 4 so on and this will be the last one 7 8 9 so starting point will be 6 0 to 6 so what is this 6 6 is nothing but 10 minus 4 but uh, we have a strictly less than 10 minus i so it's it will go till 10 minus 3 
so it will go till 6 only and not 7 so we will take the substring and convert to integer starting point and length length is i if num is greater than equal to low and num less than equal to high so make sure to include this equal to because both numbers are inclusive uh, you see this this closed uh, this uh, square bracket denotes inclusive I if it was open bracket it was exclusive And the solution is accepted and it's 0 milliseconds so now let's try in java and python here it's list of integers length is valid here also and the format of substring is different it's uh, start and end indices excluding the end in index so j plus i and in c plus plus it was second parameter was length here it's end index and it should be add java solution is also accepted and here also we are right right here you can try a few times you can get 0 millisecond also finally we will try it in python So here we are taking the slice from j to j plus i excluding j plus i and and the python solution is also accepted